how to disarm the narcissist during the silent treatment and put them in their place. Welcome back. This is Kim Saeed of KimSaeed.com. Let me ask you a question. How many times have you been subjected to the silent treatment? If you're anything like me, you may have been through multiple episodes of this crippling form of punishment. Yet no matter how many times it happens to you, you're left feeling traumatized and defeated and feeling like there's no way out of the pain. Well, in today's video, I'm going to discuss ways to disarm the narcissist during their next silent treatment. So you can finally become the victor in this cat and mouse game and walk away with your dignity intact and feeling more powerful than ever. Number one, don't believe it's your fault. This one is huge. When we get the silent treatment from the narcissist, it feels utterly devastating. Even if we know without a doubt that the narcissist was in the wrong, we often take on the responsibility for their going silent on us. This is exactly what the narcissist wants. Here's the deal. Normal people may need some time alone to think and reset, but they will never ever use the silent treatment as a form of punishment against you. Someone who cares about you will come back and want to have a two-way conversation about how to make things work between you. Someone who cares will not try to make you feel at fault because they cheated or lied. Number two, the last thing you want to do during the silent treatment is to reward the narcissist by engaging with them when they hoover. In case you're just learning about what hoovering is, Hoovering is a technique that's employed by narcissistic con artists to suck their victims back into a relationship with them by exhibiting improved or desirable behaviors. It's named after the Hoover vacuum cleaner because the Hoovering narcissist not only desires to suck you back into the relationship, but will ultimately treat you like dirt. Hoovers don't only occur after a discard. In fact, most discards aren't even real. When the narcissist seemingly discards you, it's usually all smoke and mirrors to trigger your abandonment wounds so that you will accept their awful behaviors and eventually give them their way just to keep them in your life. So when the narcissist is finally reaching out to you during the silent treatment, you don't want to enforce their sense of entitlement by responding to them or even trying to be understanding about why they went dark on you. No, with narcissists, you want to show them that they are not right in any way, shape, or form. When they finally reach out after giving you the silent treatment, make sure that they are met with complete indifference and silence as they begin to recognize that their game didn't work this time. Number three, make the silent treatment your victory cry. The third way to shut down a narcissist who is giving you the silent treatment is to use the opportunity to end the relationship and go no contact. This is what I personally did after receiving the silent treatment for the hundredth time. At the time I was in a toxic marriage and being subjected to the silent treatment, it had become a regular and normal part of the relationship. Only little did he know that during one of his previous silent treatments, I had gone out and put a deposit down on an apartment. So then the next time he gave me the silent treatment, I moved out. And when he came back, I'm sure trying to pretend that everything was normal and on the up and up, he was met with an empty apartment and the sound of crickets. That was my victory cry, and it can be yours too. Of course, this will require much more discipline, and there is a certain mindset you'll need to be in to make it work. And that is, 
in your mind, you let go of the unnerving belief that you need the narcissist in your life to feel good about yourself. In your mind, you accept that there will be a hard road ahead, but it's when you're willing to travel to get to a place of true healing and make space for a loving, reciprocal relationship later on. In your mind, you let go of waiting for apologies and closure from the narcissist. In your mind, you let go and release them. You drop the mic and walk away. If you want to disarm the narcissist in your life during their next silent treatment, you'll need some support and encouragement, something or someone to keep you on track. If you've already downloaded the free Beginner's Healing Toolkit, your next step would be to consider joining me and my Inner Warrior Circle inside the Essential Break Free Boot Camp, where you'll learn everything you need to get through your first weeks of breaking free and receive support and encouragement from us each step of the way. Support groups can be extremely helpful in dealing with emotional pain. Our Inner Warrior Circle includes a private Facebook group specifically for individuals who are on their own healing journeys. Again, the link for my Break Free Boot Camp is below this video. You can overcome the silent treatment. Despite the silent treatment being painful, you can learn to deal with it in powerful ways. By cultivating your self-esteem, you will be able to weather the storm. If you found this video educational, don't forget to check the description box below for helpful links on your healing journey.